Alrighty, uh, next on the stick here is 10 2. 10s would be a handyman. Top gun, get it right. Top, the handyman style would be, or the handyman boar is the boar there at Danner's that they have that I think is just getting started. And man, is he making some pretty good pigs that look feedable, uh, look like they're going to do the right things. And uh, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. The uh, top gun, get it right sow on this 10 letter would be uh, one that we took to Sweethearts for the summer two years ago. Was very well received, one we're very excited about. And uh, one that we got back from the Rotoball family at the end of the summer because it was one that we knew uh, put a lot of uh, hard to make pieces together. And I guess uh, I feel like 10 2 uh, followed mom's footsteps in that avenue. Yeah, show pony here on the stick, I think really reads right in terms of his proportion and balance. His quality is skeleton and his added dimension up high. I think every, all he just his proportions and balance, I think, reads right towards the end of the summer. I think he's going to be a really neat one to feed and watch grow and develop. But one I really think is going to be a high, qual high quality, kind of standout, kind of a barrel once you get him in the big ring. Yeah, I would say uh, for some reason it feels like we've always been making Hampshire gilts when we've been trying to make Hampshire barrels and gilts. But... Uh, I've said it a few times, and it's going to sound like a broken record, but I think our Hampshire, our Hampshire Barrows uh, in this set is uh, the best set we've had ever, and I'm pretty excited for what we've got coming uh, this summer on these 10, these, these 10 letters, any of the Hampshires in general. I think this 10-2 male is uh, pretty unique, uh, one that dropped out of the nursery and kind of has just uh, grabbed a couple gears since he's been out, and uh, I think pretty highly of this barrow. 10-2.